In the meantime, a 761-page bill that uh, Major was pointing out in the Senate, or, or a one-page solution, courtesy of my next guest. Ted Nugent offers the one-pager. That's right, Ted Nugent, the rock star, the guy currently on tour and getting set to release a new album, Love Grenade, this August. Grenade, by the way, might be a good way to describe how illegal aliens would feel about some of Ted's novel solutions for this mess. Ted, good to have you. Well, thanks, and happy uh, barbecue season 07 to you, Neil. That's right, that's right. So let's talk a little bit about that. You have some novel solutions for this mess. As you know, Ted, you might have heard from our Washington reporter, they're making very little progress on, on common language on, on illegal immigration. What would you do? Well, first of all, I'd try to get the Senate and the Congress and the overall bureaucratic quagmire to quit pretending it's Planet of the Apes and start using the same logic that working hard, playing hard American families and even guitar players conduct themselves in a responsible way every day. You know, the answer is so simple, it's stupid. I've secured my stage, Neil. I've secured my home. I've secured my fishing pond. I secured my swamp. And I'm just a guitar player. I don't let any unauthorized penetrators into my secured area. And it really is that simple. A lot of people him and haw and squawk and moan that you can't do the same thing with a country that you can do with your own personal life. So you would life. say this but idea of building a wall and making sure that the country itself is physically secure, first and foremost, would be a big step in that direction? Well, you know, again, that's uh, been played up way too uh, uh, over the top. We've got a bunch of real warrior heroes in the Border Patrol, in ICE, in law enforcement, all along our southern borders and northern borders. Just let them do their job. Cut the big dogs loose. Let them enforce laws. That's not novel. That's logic unless you're a bureaucratic chimp. All right. <laughs> I always knew that. We opt, you know, we were debating, should we talk to a U.S. Senator or should we talk to Ted Nugent? We said Ted Nugent. So, Ted, let me ask you this. If, if you had to say, let them loose and let them do their job, what are they not doing now that you think they should be doing if unshackled? And once again, it's not what I think. The documentation, the evidence is irrefutable. Hold the line. Neil, you're a pretty bright guy. I love you madly. I'm, I never went to college. I was too busy learning stuff. But you know what the National Guard is supposed to do? I don't even need to answer that question. Let them guard the nation. When our bureaucrats, when our elected officials spit in the face of American families by telling law enforcement and the National Guard to retreat in the face of an invasion, I think I'm going to throw up. <laughs> But, you know, the fact is, Ted, we're not making progress here. A key measure that would have been required to send uh, illegal aliens back to their home country to get the proper paperwork to come back to this country, that was shut down today. Um, so this is going nowhere fast. What are your fears where this and is it, going? Well, I think it can all be summed up in the... Uh anti-logic, anti-common sense, anti-decency, anti-constitution concept that is implemented in this country in the most horrific anti-American condition of sanctuary cities, Neil. I wouldn't allow them to create a sanctuary neighborhood near me that allows convicted criminals or known criminals to congregate with impunity. These kinds of anti-decency concepts that are running amok at the hands of bureaucrats who want to feel good instead of doing the right thing, it's really pissing people off out here. You know, I'm having a very buoyant, very positive, high-energy, fun rock and roll tour, and I'm very gregarious. I meet with cops and lawyers and, and CEOs and welders and mechanics and plumbers and teachers and moms and dads and everybody is out absolutely outraged at the ineffective ineffectiveness of the bureaucratic joke that is out of control out there you know there's a lot of people think Ted that because you're a popular musician and you galvanize particularly a lot of conservative folks who used to feel very united now on this particular issue you have got them sharing how ticked off you are some of them have outright left the republican party for example is it that bad it is that bad i'm going to tell you neil you want to know how bad it is i was doing an interview with a journalist last week from rochester new york and he was asking such stupid questions about the right to self-defense, about the education quagmire, about so many different social issues. And I said, Jeff, Jeff, hang on a second. Let me make sure I know if you're just being devil's advocate or you're really this stupid. <laughs> Neil, 
write this down. I said, do you believe, I need to know where you're coming from, do you believe that during World War II, the Americans were the good guys and the Nazis were the bad guys? Neil, he paused and his final answer was, well, Ted, it's not that cut and dry. It's that bad. It's that bad. <laughs> that, They're out well, of their well, you know, They're you, dangerous. You touched on something here. We're, we're, we're graying the whole issue. So let me get, uh, I said, stepping back from this. And a, a, a lot of people kind of rally around you, as I said, and, and there's been frustration now in the Republican Party. Maybe the war has gone bad. Maybe this whole fuss over illegal immigration has gone bad. Um, what's going on here, and how badly do you think is it affecting the fans who love you? Well, uh, if it is affecting them, they're much more bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, cocked, locked, and ready to rock than I've ever seen. Well, they we're still come to your concerts, tour. don't they? Yeah. It, it's, I'm telling you, and it's more young people, but most importantly, when I make both humorous and maybe not so humorous political comments on stage, I've never seen more of this in my life. People That's are becoming galvanized. They're starting to see the line drawn in the sand, and they know that Ted Nugent stands on the side of logic, the U.S. Constitution, the golden rule, and that those against me are against them who are most productive and the most hardworking, work ethic Americans out there. So the line is really quite apparent, and, and activism is growing. I'm pleased by this. Let me ask you, Ted, there are a lot of those erudite bureaucrats, many of them make their way to this show, who say, well, you know, Ted's plans, he's a musician, a gifted musician, but uh, too simplistic, too simplistic. What do you say? Well, that's what bureaucrats allow to metastasize their once sense of community and family and logic. They, they worry about what some constituency might think. I think I said it the best recently, if I may, Neil, on your wonderful TV show. Davy Crockett had to shoot Santa Ana's men. It was the right thing to do. Everybody knows that Davy Crockett was doing the right thing, but he wouldn't get the Hispanic vote, okay? <laughs> Ted, I wish you well with the upcoming album, your tour. You tell it like it is, my friend. Thank you very much. Godspeed. God bless America, man. All right. Uh, Ted Nugent.